A diversified education is essential to succeed in the green industry today. Dr. Stephen Cohen of the University of Maryland spoke with A Better Way about what it takes to prepare for a career in the green industry in this current business climate. The program here is really directed towards developing future leaders of the industry and as such our program being a land-grant institution is that we're required to give them a scientific background but what we've also incorporated is very extensive business courses, leadership courses, so these individuals can hit the ground running and at least be decision makers as soon as they come out. Uh, we also require an internship so they have an opportunity to interface the industry with the industry. Cohen's students grew to understand firsthand that a well-rounded curriculum will help them with their career. After you kind of learn those core, core ideas, they, they build on top of it. Um, you learn about structures and materials and uh, general maintenance of properties, of turf, things like that. We have some new sustainability courses that have been great that focus on green roofs, rain gardens, and other type of new green industry practices. And uh, we also, we've started in the last year to a uh, Rosetta Stone Spanish course, which is great for our industry, getting, you know, for people that didn't have a Spanish background in high school, at least some have come out with a general knowledge of Spanish. I take multiple business classes, economics, accounting, human resources. I'm also able to take a lot of things that are plant related, but not specifically plant oriented classes like biology of insects. Cohen believes that there is no substitute for real-world experience. It is a necessity for anyone starting out in the field. We are very selective on where they go. We don't want the students to be task-oriented. We want them to be challenged, and we want them to preferably be in a rotation where they have an opportunity to get exposure to installation, to maintenance, to design build, and also to get some of the administrative exposure in terms of budget management and basic job cost management. Uh, on all types of construction jobs from $30,000 jobs to multi-million dollar jobs throughout country clubs, suburbs, in New York City. So I've gained a lot of experience through all of that. You get a, a bit of hands-on with almost every piece of the field other than dealing with heavy equipment. Um, but through the program I, I got myself an internship and I've been um, pretty heavily recruited by different businesses. Some install, some maintenance, some uh, you know, strictly irrigation, some green roof. He's bought the best and the brightest of the entire industry to our footsteps. Gonzalez had this advice for students who were tentative about working in the field. Get out there. Uh, the best thing that you're going to do is you're going to kill plants, you're going to ruin landscapes, but the only way you're going to learn from it is, is to go out there and, and work with people who know what they're doing. So I think the biggest challenge is to have students who understand that the meter is always running, that everything that they do from the time they leave the yard has to be profitable and they have to stay on budget. So I developed a course on business principles of landscape contracting and actually had to develop a textbook for it so that the students can comprehend it and walk away with basic principles that they can go ahead and apply. Basically what we're looking for is someone who understands the science from a diagnostic standpoint, but also in the field to be able to understand how to make a profit every time they leave the yard. In addition to field experience, Cohen also encourages students to participate in student career days which is a national competition for the green industry. Last year we had 70 universities and colleges, two-year and four-year programs, and 900 students who competed in 28 different events. What this does is it gives the students an opportunity not only to interface with industry, network with other students, but to apply their academic and technical skills on a national level. In essence, it's Landscape Olympics. Actually, at the Student Career Days, you know, they handed out, I think it was $80,000 of student loans and student scholarships from the, the AEF Foundation or the AEF uh, Fund. And uh, the great thing about that is that it's just it's strictly from the industry to the students and you won't see that in any other industry. One of Cohen's key lessons to students is what companies are looking for in employees in today's economic climate as opposed to 10 years ago. They're looking for leaders. They're looking for students who can relate and motivate and be much more productive. So to look at it as an exercise, not just getting the job done, but how do we do it more efficiently. The growth has been in developing the program to model these kids to be able to fit the niches that companies are requiring them to do. The University of Maryland internship program is continually looking for industry partners. If you would like to participate in this program, please contact Dr. Cohen at scohen at umd.edu.